Peggy 16. Hi, I'm Ben Ross, gameplay and presentation producer for NHL 13. Today we're going to give you a deeper look into true performance skating. The first thing we're going to look at is explosiveness. It's all about getting that quick first step. Notice in NHL 12, no matter what you do, you just can't shake the defenseman. In NHL 13, notice how Patrick Kane slams on the brakes and creates separation with that explosive first step, leading to a scoring chance. Here's NHL 13 again, but from a defensive standpoint. O'Donnell this time stays with Kane, using an explosive first step of his own to create a much better angle and drives Kane out before he can get to that net. Top end speed separates great skaters from average skaters. In NHL 12, there wasn't that next gear that allowed a player to blow by a defender. Notice how Gabbert can't get by the defender even though he stays skating backwards. In NHL 13, Gabrick is able to explode, reach that top end speed, and beat the defender wide. That doesn't mean defenders are helpless. They have the same tools. Defensemen with good top end speed will be able to win puck races and chase down forwards. Momentum plays a big role in all sports, but especially in hockey. In NHL 12, there was no sense of momentum. If you made a mistake, you were able to recover very quickly. In NHL 13, momentum is now the game within the game. As a defender, if you're aware of your own speed and momentum, you are now able to take away the forward's options, make the play, and head up ice. Explosiveness, top-end speed, and momentum will forever change the way you play the game.